Hi, I'm Faith Overton, aquatic therapist, PTA, and Tai Chi teacher. When I first started working in physical therapy, I met my first Tai Chi teacher. He told me I really needed to learn Tai Chi, that it would help me learn how to train the human gait cycle. He was so right. Every important gait cycle event can be found in Tai Chi training. From the initial weight shift that it takes to start our stepping process, to the weight acceptance that it takes to achieve single leg stance, allowing for a contralateral swing through, the all important critical heel strike, roll through and push off phases. These are the foundations of a strong, stable walking pattern. When even one of these events is weak or unstable, limited or tight, your walking can become painful and safety becomes an issue. The human gait cycle is really just a controlled fall. When we no longer have the balance or the control, we become fearful and anxiety can set in. Poor postural habits can develop around this anxiety, which compound the problem. A safe and stable gait pattern needs a strong and responsive core. Postural re-education and core stabilization are always a priority when we're working with gait and balance in physical therapy. These two elements are deeply ingrained in Tai Chi training. Tai Chi takes the momentum out of our movement patterns and replaces it with strength, stability, and balance. This is exactly what we get our patients to do when we're working with gait and balance. We want them to slow the exercise down, control the exercise, and stay stable through the whole exercise. In Tai Chi, we often use the visualization to move like you're moving through water. This increases the core activation. As I train my patients in the HydroWorks pool, I often see small deviations that you can't see on land. Perhaps it's an inconsistent heel strike, or weak hip flexion, or maybe a limited knee extension. Perhaps they cross their feet when they walk, causing falls. Any one of these deviations, if gone untreated, can cause injury, can cause a fall. We need to start early, and we need to include exercises that focus on balance, posture, and control. With the added components of breathing and relaxation, memory and coordination, I have found Tai Chi to be an excellent exercise system to refine and strengthen the human gait cycle. Helping people to improve their balance, prevent falls, and ultimately maintain their independence and their quality of life throughout the aging process.